Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can customize Koha Opac or the Koha front-end user interface. So here we have Koha 22.11. No, we are going to use Koha 23.05. That is the current release of Koha and it has released on 31st May 2023. So let me open my web browser and I want to go at Koha demo site. On the Koha community site, you will see the Koha demo and there are number of demo system available by different companies. So you will see this is the Koha 23.05 and then rest of the system are 22.11111 and this one is the development that means this system is a step ahead so let us try this um i want to open the staff interface and the opac and there you need to log in with the demo demo on the staff interface And here you can see this is Koha 23.06. So this is similar to Koha 23.05. And, uh, and there's no change in this system and Koha 22.11. So far I have seen. Remember Koha demo system is just for practice purpose. And this one is the Koha default interface. I mean the user interface. And the very first thing that you need to do is to jump at the Koha administration. Here in Koha global system preferences on, Go, uh, on system preferences, you need to have the OPAC. And on OPAC, you will see appearance on appearance you can design your opac so the very first thing is the library name uh there you can see koha online catalog so you can replace this like raf limbs library save this now you will see the raf limbs library and you can change this favicon i mean this small logo so we call it favicon with your for example i have one link so here we need to provide the link of the logo and save this there you can see the logo will replace with your logo okay and quickly jump to the opac user css there you can design your koha back the very first thing that you can do on opac user css is the background page background font color and size so let us try with this now see f f f I means six time f is actually the code of white so instead of this you can write the color name directly and there is actually the font the family font or you can replace this with uh, any other font that you would like to the size font size so you can greater this size or you can small this size but i will go with this now see what happened here the background will change now this is the main user block this area is called the uh header area 
and this is actually the search bar main user block right navigation sorry left navigation right navigation credit area here so i just change the font size to red instead of red i will go with the white or you can select any for example black so white right now the next thing that you can do main user block font color and size see this area is actually the main user block and you can actually change the the color of this area and the size as well see here the main user block font color and size the background color this one and the border color will be this one the same border color you can replace this with the for example red just update this and uh, or even you can use black as well. there you can use the white see this is the main user block so instead of black i would say to go with the white all white and link color by default you can see the link color let me show you see what color is it? this one this is actually the uh, blue one so we can change this to, for example i want to change to red now red after the font color so the search bar color search bar this one this bar right now this one is gray so instead of gray, I want to change this to uh, blue. This this code is for blue actually. Now it has changed to blue. Or instead of blue, I can use the any other color. For example, uh, the black one. You can write the color name without the hashtag with hashtag you can use the color code html code or any other code okay. see this is the black or you can go with the white if you want to uh, i think let us go with the white Okay. Uh, the label. Uh, this is actually the opaque main search label. Okay. Uh, you can use the black here. button see this button is green you can change this color 
any other uh, whatever the color you would like to so for and this color i mean this button and this button will change to color of your choice there you can see the there are two colors <clears throat> For example, you can go with the red and see. Okay. And this is some important. See, this small logo, you can actually hide this logo with jQuery, I mean the JavaScript, JS, or you can replace this logo with your own logo. So here we have one code. See, what you can do, you can add your logo here. Uh, let me show you here there you need to provide the URL of your logo so this logo URL is of uh, must library uh, Birpur library I think in in Azad Kashmir actually where I have implemented Goha See now it's your logo. Or you can add any other URL uh, for the logo and feed of this logo you can replace your own logo. Okay. And after the Opac user CSS. We have this Opac user JS. So, if you want to hide the small logo, you can use this JS. So, it will hide the logo. See? Now, there's no logo. I think let us go with the logo. And Another thing, maybe you have noticed Maybe you have noticed this library catalog Instead of library catalog, we can change this phrase to keyword Basically, it's work like keyword we can use keyword here or any other like uh, for example start search so right now let us see keywords the keyword or you can change like search here or whatever okay hide login at the right navigation see i actually believe this right navigation login is extra something because it's confused of the library pattern sometimes and the login is available here so a patron can log in from at the top if he or she want to log in 
so this login can be hide and you can use this small uh, JS to hide this login. Okay, and to remove when you search, actually, uh, you will see the if the if there is no image associated with particular search result so you will see some shadow no image uh, shadow so you can actually remove the no image shadow here by using this small js so when you search some maybe uh, some result available here so it will show you something like I mean, it will not show you something. Speed of uh, no image, here. and you can hide this powered by like uh, power. pack Oha URL. You can hide this. I mean, don't show. okay and if you want to add a slideshow on your koha bag here or anywhere on your koha bag so you can have these two videos this one and this one so i'll provide the link in the description of this video so you must check that in quite detail so you can see this one this is the video available on my channel and you can have this video for the 3d slideshow on both our back and another video is for bootstrap so you can add the slideshow css slideshow and the bootstrap is powerful on your back uh, by watching so you can watch these two videos and you will learn a lot about this slideshow if you want to insert urdu keyboard or the regional keyboard on your back you must watch this video and use uh, to display link like tag number i mean the 856 of the mark and display as the image on your search result if you have online uh, resources available and you want to catalog with koha so you must watch these two videos okay where they are let me put So you can use Koha as your digital library system and also this one for online books, journals and other resources in Koha. So you can display them uh, as, as, uh, as the online on your books. Now move forward. So for slideshow to insert Urdu keyboard or to display tag 856 as image on your result i mean the koha result page and the description page of that result so you must watch these videos uh, available on my channel so you will learn in details about having a slideshow uh, use koha as your digital library system or to insert your urdu original keyboard on your koha pack okay move forward and here we have uh, something that we use as html customization how we can add the header and the credits and some other information so let's move to the oha tools so there in Koha tools, we have HTML customization. In HTML customization, the two already available. By default, you will find this empty. So you can add new entry here. And in new entry, you will use the header. And in header, you can add any image. You need to provide the publication date. For example, I use uh, here 
and the expiration date if you want to add or the heading header there you can use the code or you can directly add the picture from the source so let me open my practice website where i have collected number of pictures uh, on google site so let me open this this is one uh, what I said the header to so copy image address and you can paste it and you can add any description for example ref limbs to hide this one you can actually decrease this width or you can increase this as per your wish and if you want to add the link so you can actually add the link here uh, let's suppose this one okay the title reference current windows or the new windows saved and this will display on all the versions of OPAC I mean uh, the all languages OPAC so we have English we have this other other languages as well now save this one we have add this one one header see it's now so you can adjust the size here 100 percent and you can edit this and you can adjust this size. for example you want to say it's 1200 Now it's okay. Another thing that you can do this one header we have add one header. Now you can add the Reddit here. Um, you can say Reddit. Can add the simple text here or you can add some image some emojis or whatever you want to so here i am going to add the simple image with some symbol for example copyright uh, all right reserve right I need to add the date of copyright here. The all right reserve for Aflims. Something like this, okay. And you can center, you can add the link here. If you want to add some image here, so you can actually save this. We want. We have not provided the date. Okay. Publication date before that day actually. See. And this way you can add like, uh, for example, you want to highlight your name or something. For example, not the header. Wait, it's 
implemented by Fiverr and link this to your URL for example YouTube at the rate tab links. remember this URL always When someone click on furrow, he or she will redirect to the URL. You can add your uh, profile link here as well. Okay. New entry, you can also use this for uh, right navigation. You can use this for uh, bottom navigation. Navigation at the left side here left side so you can add some navigation some important button here for example let me add some button here some CSS code here just use You can actually add the link here. For example, this link, uh, this button will work for so and so link. Let's suppose this one. And the title would be This is just for example. No? So current date, I mean, I mean current windows instead of current windows, you can open this link to new windows. In fact, you can let us work here. You can provide the link here and single display and save this. Okay. There are a number of ways. I mean, you can actually try. Uh, there are a lot of things available. See? Add one link here and you can use um, as many as possible. okay or you can directly write for example if you want to work with the let me show you another way instead of using code can actually work with some interesting things for example uh website 
Visit all in quest. So you can link this. Um, this one. New Windows. For that, you can add some padding, like autumn. This, these are few examples or you can use, use the uh, button as well if you want to add some buttons here you can okay after the navigation we have the right navigation so you can add some image there instructions there uh, logging instructions or any other thing you can add there new entry and the right navigation And someone click on this, he or she will redirect to the. And there you can add some more links. Okay. Or you can add some buttons. I have, I mean, on my website, there are some buttons. You can add your own. You can create some Google site, it's free of cost. And uh, the next thing that you can do is the main user blog and there you can provide the main uh, you can write something here I have one text here or if you are using some like a uh, slideshow you can provide the HTML here Got to add the date here. 
not the header main user block so I need to add the date one day previous here this is some example actually uh, so you can change as per your need whatever you want to so you can add uh, your required or if you want to leave it blank or you want to add some pictures or some slideshow you can go okay so we have learned a number of things here for slideshow if you want to add a slideshow here or the new arrival here you must watch the video in the description of this video and if you want to add some Urdu keyboard here so you can have the video in the description of this video and also if you want to use Koha as your digital library system for your e-resources like PDF books and so on so you can have the video in the description of this video and uh, you can customize this if you want to make this a smaller like uh, for example you can play with things like as much as you practice you will be able to work better so there are some english filing mistakes or maybe the grammatical mistakes okay so 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 okay if you need these four you can write can work with the format as well like uh, font size okay so this is something that uh, i have designed right now but uh, your practice actually work and as much as you practice you can design your koha more battle so i mean much battle Okay, thank you very much for watching Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain and uh, take care of yourself.